Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Dominic, the primetime treasure hunter. It is uh, 4.15 in the morning. I just woke up. I promised to try to keep this as realistic as possible. So as soon as I woke up, I was ready to have the phone near me to start recording because I want to video blog my trip over to Steve Rakin's house, Rakin Profits. Uh, we're going to film six professional videos today uh, with a videographer. So I'm super excited about that, but I've got to get ready. Uh, I've actually got to get up now because I have listings that I've got to try to finish. I've got some stuff I've got to try to post in my Facebook group. So, uh, and there's things around here I just have to get ready to get in the car and stuff. So I'll turn this on when we're closer to, uh, to heading out. All right, it's 5.30. Hopefully I look and sound a little bit more awake, but it is time to get up, get dressed, and start getting things packed. I want to hit the road somewhere between 6.15 and 6.30. I got some things posted to my Facebook groups. I'm happy about that. I'm still finishing up a listing here, so hopefully I get all this stuff done in the next 45 minutes to an hour. All right, everyone, it's 6.30 in the morning. I've got the primetime treasure mobile all packed up with comic books and estate sale items and all sorts of stuff that I want to use in the videos with Steve, but we've got to hit the road to make sure we get there on time. I'll check in with you later during a break point. All right, a little bit of light is peeking through. It's 7 in the morning. I stopped off real quick to get something to eat, of course. Got to get a little McDonald's when primetime is on the road. And what did I get? I did opt for something a little more healthy, which is the Egg White Delight. I really love that. It's egg whites only, no yolk. I don't know if that's approved by the farm girl scavenger, Noel Griffith. She'll have to let me know. I'm sure she'll be watching the video at some point. So uh, let me know if you approve these over the uh, Egg McMuffins or the uh, biscuits. But, mmm. All right, well, as you can see, it's light out now. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. We're making great time. Should still get to Steve's house around 11 o'clock, which is the plan. That's when the videographer is supposed to get there. So uh, stopped off, do a little social media at these little service areas. So I'm not doing any of that while I'm driving. Don't want to get into an accident or anything like that. You got to be safe. Uh, saw that Steve just posted that I'm heading over there to Connecticut. I did so as well this morning, trying to build up a little interest into this joint video collab that we're doing. So, uh, gonna head into the service area for a few minutes, just, uh, you know, see if there's anything good in there and then head back on the road. Just to document where we are, historic New York, Herkimer, Little Falls. Now, if I was going to visit Rally Roots, uh, I would have picked this up for Alley Roots, little unicorn, but I don't think Steve would like a magical unicorn too much, so I'm going to pass on that. Okay, now, if you know Steve, Steve loves all sorts of all-natural stuff, so maybe he'd like some pure maple syrup. I'll pick him up some of that. Uh, let's see, what else would he like? Uh, he'll probably like these, these pure maple sugar things, these little candies. Mrs. Primetime loves these, so they're usually a big hit. So I'll get those as well. Uh, let's see. Apple Crisp. That's kind of a funny joke between me and Mrs. Primetime. Apple Crisp. Uh, let's see. Um, you know what? Maybe Steve would like some roadkill slather sauce. I've never seen that. That's a pretty unique gift uh, from me. So uh, not too often you get roadkill sauce. So <laughs> maybe I'll get him some of that. Uh, a couple of New York uh, gifts for him. Steve's all into this stuff too, like this veggie protein power stuff. This is stuff I would never eat, but uh, you know what? It's not for me, it's for Steve, so uh, we'll pick some of this up for him too. All right, it's 10 o'clock, about an hour from Steve's. I had to do a little pit stop because my stomach is growling, and I don't know what we're going to do when we get there with regards to food. I told Steve I'd take him out to lunch later, but uh, his videographer's getting there at 11, so we might just jump right into the video. So I have got to be mentally focused which means I'm gonna to need to make sure my stomach is not growling. So what I recommend in these situations, little combos, little combo pack, of course. Got the Mountain Dew to keep me going. Now, I did have orange juice earlier in the morning for those of you who uh, prefer to all natural stuff. I think I did pretty good with the breakfast and I haven't shown this before, but these are my favorite ever gummy bears. Haribo gummy bears. These things are amazing. I've been eating these since uh, since I was a teenager. They're amazing. So uh, if you haven't tried those, highly recommend it. Anyway, let's get over to Steve's.
All right, I'm here, the profit land. Just got to park, meet up with Steve. I'm obviously not going to show his address on YouTube. So let's go meet up with rakinprofits.com. All right, I always wanted to do this. This is Steve Rakin's doorbell, and I always wanted to smash that doorbell button. So that's what we're going to do right now. Here's his vet right here. Here we go. Let's smash it. Let's smash that doorbell button right there. Smash. Bam. <laughs> It'll be coming out any minute. Yeah. Hey, I just wanted to get the meeting on camera for the first time, brother. Good How to are see you, man. man. How are you? Awesome. I knew you were going to be sick. I just smashed the doorbell yeah. button. <laughs> I knew this guy was going to be tall, but I didn't know he was going to be. Yeah, let me look at this. I mean, well, he's got good ceiling room for me, so uh, this is a historic moment, so I want to make sure I caught it yeah. on the film, man. It's all right, well, I'm here with Steve, raking profits. Can't believe I'm here, it's amazing. Uh, it's, uh, it's really cool, we've got a whole setup here where there's a videographer and um, he's back there. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. We're gonna cover estate sales, comic books, uh, where to find hidden things, at sales, uh, motivational videos. I'm excited for that one. Yeah, I mean, the whole nine yards, man. I mean, we're big on motivation and so uh, I'm real excited. It's gonna be a fun time and uh, we're just gonna get cracking right now. We're just gonna we're gonna knock these out. It's gonna be hardcore, right? How does it feel, man? Because that's usually <laughs> when I'm doing my live videos. It's kind of messy in here because I'm moving. But how does it feel to kind of be behind the scenes? Yeah, right it, it's really weird. It's like uh, it's just amazing. It's uh, you know I've watched so many videos from this place that I'm like, now I'm like sitting here. It's uh, it's just really cool. But there was nothing like smashing that doorbell button. I swear it. I was you like smashed the, it the, so hard. I, I, I was yeah, like, is this house gonna, is the foundation I, I, strong yeah, enough? Yeah, it started shaking. It was crazy. So, uh, all right, we're gonna get cracking here and, uh, and knock these out, and um, it's gonna be awesome. Right, brother? Let's do it. Brother Profits right there. Woo! <laughs> all right, well, we just finished filming our first video, and uh, we're actually gonna order some lunch. We're gonna order some Chipotle. Ooh, DoorDash <clears throat> is yeah. where it's at. DoorDash, DoorDash. We're gonna get some Chipotle. Um, st people are gonna wanna know, what does Rake and Profits eat for lunch? Yeah, so um, <laughs> pretty much I, I like to go with the chicken bowl. Um, I have like a like a sensitivity with my throat with like any breads right. or um, any starches and whatnot. So right. I usually just go with a straight chicken bowl okay. and a little uh, brown rice, beans. Okay. Try, to, right. try to eat clean because I'll tell you right now, how you feel inside is going to uh, greatly affect how you come off on the outside. Yes, that's true. That's true. Um, that's why I come across with so much energy because of the Mountain Dew that I drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's that initial sugar rush. That's right. we're, we're shooting a bunch of videos now, six videos. Video one, two, three, he's going to be on top of the world. Right. Four, five, and six, he's right. going to be like... Right. And for those who, who follow me, I do have my Mountain Dew like right there on the side. So it's like, you know, if I need like an Is emergency... It diet or regular? Need, it's regular. If I need like an uh, emergency swig. Dog. Yeah, I knew. Yeah, so... Uh, Wait till Steve sees some of his gifts. Now, you all know what Steve got, but I haven't given him to him yet, so uh, he's gonna crack up later. We gotta get that on video. Let's do it. <laughs> we're gonna do that soon. All right, so uh, we're gonna order some lunch in just a few minutes here. All right, this is what it's like to eat tacos with uh, Rake and Profits. Uh, real excited here. Um, Super excited. Should we even, could we even do a toast, a Mountain Dew toast with like, is that possible or does that go against like rules or something? I don't know. Let's do it. Like, uh, is oh, it gonna, are they going to explode or something? I got to get, get, get an opener for this thing. I don't think you can open <laughs> this by hand. Uh, okay. No. Right. I'll be right back. Keep yeah, the video rolling. Uh, all right. So, so we are done with uh, three of the videos. We have three more to go. And uh, if you ever had a brain fart before, just let you know, I just had like the biggest brain fart. On the, it smelled the whole room It up. smelled the whole room up. I could not remember what it was I wanted to say, but uh, eventually I got it back. So that's good. It proves that I don't have uh, full force dementia just yet. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Maybe the, uh, the early starting of it, early beginnings. All right. There we go. Now I got to... I gotta open this too. So, uh, all right, now let's see if they explode or not. We're gonna see. Uh, no, we're good. We're good. That's awesome. Awesome. Mmm. 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 Oh, high fructose corn syrup. Ooh. Oh man. <laughs> nice. All right, so we're setting up for our next video. I think we're gonna do a comic book one soon, but uh, I gotta pay Steve here for lunch. I mean, uh, he's so generous to have me over here. The least I could do is uh, give him some lunch and gifts. So, uh, so Steve, how much did that come to? About uh, it was about two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars? Huh? Hey, don't call me Rake and for nothing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's right, that's right, all right. <laughs> no, it was 41, 41 bucks. Oh, gosh, this guy, he's unbelievable here. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So we got Steve here. He's uh, he's big into comic books now. 
He's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell him that that one you can't open because it's in a plastic slab. Sounds so like I uh, read yeah, it. he's trying, he's trying to open it, but, uh, he, I just, so I kind of tricked him up on that one. No, I'm just kidding. He knows. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're setting up. We're taking some little shots here. We got a bunch of comic book boxes right down below. So, uh, we got our videographer over here. So uh, it's gonna be fun. This uh, this video is the one that I'm looking forward the most to doing because you know that this is my favorite area. So uh, I'm real excited, uh, Steve, and uh, can't wait to get cracking on this one. Yeah, I'm pumped up. I know I'm gonna learn a lot, and I know the viewers are gonna learn a lot as well. So it's exciting. Awesome. Let's, uh, let's get our thumbnail yeah. all uh, situated and all right. rock it. All right, see everyone. <laughs> All right, we just filmed the comic book video. I mean, it was it was awesome. I'm we had, to, we had to get up to his level. We had, we had a lot of fun, right, Steve? <laughs> yes, we did. We did for sure. I mean, we just crushed we it. I mean, here's the comic books right here. People are gonna love that video. I think they're gonna get a lot out of it. So, uh, you know, Steve's uh, getting into Doctor Who here, and yep. uh, you know, there's just all sorts of stuff. I mean, we really covered a lot in like 20 minutes. So. We're gonna crush out a couple more videos. It's a nice day sitting out on the Rake and Profit porch. Yep. Uh, and Steve, you know, this is amazing. I don't know if you knew this, but in my Facebook group today, it's Flower Friday. So yeah, Flower Friday. It's Flower Friday. So you post anything you're selling that's related to flowers. And uh, you know, look I'm actually here. trying to get rid of these because yeah. I don't know if the people know, but I'm, I'm moving. I just purchased a, um, a two family investment property and uh, I'm actually looking to get rid of these flower uh, well. chairs. Yeah. Oh, well, there maybe you go. Maybe we'll list them together. Yeah, maybe list them, uh, put them on the Facebook page, yeah. and, uh, you know, we'll get rid of them. Uh, you know, it's awesome. So, uh, all right. Living the, living the life, living the theme, crushing two more videos here, and uh, then we're going to give Rake and Profit some gifts. That's going to be fun, oh, too. sweet. And give him his presents. You all know what those presents are. He, mm. has, no, he has no clue. Like what do you presents. think I got you? Probably flower chairs. Flower chairs? No, <laughs> <laughs> no flower chairs. <laughs> All, right. All right, I'm hanging out here with Brother Prophets. We have one more video to go. And actually, I'm wondering, am I the only one who calls you Brother Prophets? Yeah, I don't know if anyone's <laughs> ever called me Brother Prophets before, but I, I kind of like it. I always call you that. It's like, it's just like some camaraderie. And this way, like when you see that, when you see Brother Prophets, you know yeah. it's me, right? We got primetime so, Prophets here too. That's, so. that's awesome. Yeah, so we're doing good. We just crushed that last video. I mean, video five. Yeah, we're on a roll. We've got one more to go, and uh, we're going to do it about branding and marketing yeah um so i'm excited you know, it's really good and uh we're gonna shoot it right here just a little behind the scenes uh the rake and profit uh porch or yep. little uh best little... porch in connecticut yeah that's right you know we used to call that a stoop back in the day oh, you ever call stoop. that a stoop yeah we're gonna sit on the stoop for anyone from brooklyn who's watching this so uh it's the rake and profit now, stoop now i'm there. curious have you ever yeah. recorded six videos in one day i have not done that no what do you think about because <laughs> we were talking about batching in our last video batching eBay listings. What are your thoughts on batching YouTube videos? You know, I never thought about that, Steve, until yeah. uh, until right now. That's that's actually a good idea because you know what I normally am doing is I'm making my videos at night, like late at night, and sometimes you know, I'm, yeah. it's like I'd rather be doing like the listing sometimes, but uh, I'm trying to keep up a continuous flow. But uh, that's not a bad idea. Like just have some kind of like yeah. on the just you know, switch up the settings a little yeah. bit. But man, we're yeah. like we're dropping so much knowledge. Well, yeah. he's dropping so much knowledge. It's just. I can't wait to release these videos. P Professor Profits right here. So, you know, <laughs> all right. We're going to get this next one done, Let's and do uh, I'm going to give Steve his gifts after that. We're also going to do them on video, too, so we're going to present them in two ways. Awesome. All right. Let's go. All right, we just finished our last video, and that video is hilarious. You really have to, we're not gonna try to reproduce me giving Steve the gifts here, because really, there's no way to replace what happened on that video, is there, Steve? <laughs> no. I mean, it's just amazing. So, uh, but we do wanna just get a little reaction from Steve afterwards. Now he's processed everything that I got him. So what would you say, what do you think in general to give Steve, and um, you know, well, do you have a favorite one, uh, or you know, one you're most interested in? Uh, yes. Okay. So this is the one that I'm most interested in. It is called Roadkill Slather Sauce. So good that you can put the sauce on roadkill. I'm a huge fan of barbecue sauce, yeah. hot sauce, yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. So Me I'm too. actually Love very, them. very excited for this. Um, Dominic was extremely thoughtful and uh, touched on my... <laughs> Healthy side. That's right. It smashed me with some grazed veggie protein. <laughs> some edamame. Edamame, yeah. spicy chicken. These are actually no, going to be no, really keep, good. Keep that away from me. I might break out in hives. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, to touch on the opposite side of the spectrum, he had to hit me with... A little sugar. A little bit of sugar. We got some uh, New York maple sugar. Right maple here. syrup. Maple yeah. syrup. Maple syrup. Sugar. Uh, and then we also have... I don't want to drop these, but also some little... 
Love bites. Yeah, those are maple, maple syrup love bites. So. These things are so sweet. Yeah, you liked it. You tried one of yeah, those. They're pretty very good. good. So uh, I told Steven, you you know, you could comment down in the chat, but you know, we call that real maple syrup in New York. But for me, the real maple syrup is log cabin and you know, Aunt Jemima and uh, you know, and that kind of stuff. So you know, Mrs. Butterworth, love Mrs. Butterworth. Yeah, oh, so man. yeah, so that that you know, you let me know in the uh, in the comment section what you think the real maple syrup is. But it was fun, man. It was awesome. Here. Awesome. We're gonna actually go out to what to Savers. Or where, where uh, we want to go? We might hit Goodwill and Goodwill? Savers. Definitely Goodwill, Goodwill Savers? for sure. Um, the yeah. Goodwill that's uh, that I'm going to bring you to is actually the highest grossing Goodwill in Connecticut. Wow, that um, sounds awesome. So it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty nice place. It's hit or miss, you just don't know. Um, a lot of resellers run through there. So what time is it right now? It's like 3. I think we might be safe. But once you hit 5 o'clock, they all just come flying in. So it's well, best to hit them before. Do you think they can handle the intensity of me and you walking man, around the same place? I don't know. The they might time? recognize us. I man. don't know. They I mean, might just walk out when they see us. So. <laughs> the power might go out when we walk in. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. All right. Rake Profits. One of the highest grossing Goodwills in Connecticut. And I just found out that uh, Mama Profits is going to be here. I've always wanted to meet Mama Profits, and she's <laughs> in the house right here. I'm one of her biggest fans. She has no idea. Just about to meet her right now. We got Brandon, the toy expert right here. He told me to just slap this camera right on you. I am one of your biggest fans and you do not know it. I love I love the name Mama Prophets. Can I get a hug from Mama Prophets? Sure. Oh my God, he is tall. Hey, you know who Brandon, you know who the toy expert right here. You're yeah, uh, on YouTube yeah, as well. I don't know if you want to give everyone a shout yeah. out. I'll yeah, put this yeah. up how, later. How are you guys doing? Yeah, uh, retro yeah. junk. Retro junk. Yeah, absolutely. We've talked before, right? We have. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yep. All right, cool. Yeah, so at our, our Goodwills, I don't know if you have this. Target donates all their stuff. So Target, you, Target like, donates their stuff here. Like their so you have like a million people. And really? Yeah. Huh. So it's like, interesting. This is smaller than my Goodwill. Wednesday morning and apparently Friday, they get a lot of Target stuff. But it looks like there's better quality stuff here. Sometimes. The, pow the power's been flickering since we walked in here because they can't handle the intensity of Mama Profits, Rakem Profits, Retro Junk, Primetime Actually, Treasure Hunter, like three weeks, all here. Steve's heading through to bins. Oh, okay. you have it? I haven't been buying it all. all right. If I find anything, I'll turn this back on. But it's like a free-for-all right now. Let's go look around. See, if I go to grab one of Mama Profits' books, she'll whack me across the face with that. No. <laughs> I've been here already this morning. All right. So, I don't know. no, do what you have to do. I'm That's just right. uh, seeing uh, if they're putting anything else out. All right. You crushed it in the book, so. Hey, everyone should go follow Mama Prophets on Instagram. So uh, oh. <laughs> give, her some, uh, give her some follows. She's amazing. So uh, I'm going to leave her alone right now. I don't want to bother her. She's, uh, oh, no, no. <laughs> all right. So uh, I'm going to look around myself. This actually isn't bad if you could find a big lot of them, but there's only one, so keep it here. But Full Metal Alchemist is a good series. Manga. Gonna show you a live comp check right here. This is, this is <laughs> one of the things you would look for for potential. You know, it's nice and bright and colorful. Um, it's racing related, so this could be something that does well. It's like a biking shirt. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah, it's definitely some kind of... There's one for sale for 22, so it's actually... Oh, not as much as I thought. Yeah. yeah. See, there's one... Um, Victoria Giordano. Oh, just... Huh. No completed on it? No, but... Okay. Hold on, let me take solds off. But you could always get an idea of like what's on the market. So there's one for twenty two ninety nine free shipping. This is long yeah. sleeve, which is probably even more desirable. Yeah. So I would say... And this one actually doesn't... It's a little worse, I'd say, because it has this like performance center, yeah. secondary like thing on it. Yeah. So you could probably get like twenty bucks for this. So Does I would. Does that one in your uh, on your phone have any watchers on it? Good call. Uh, no. Yeah, see, because to me that's an indicator that it might be a problem. If, yeah. if this no was watchers. a dollar or two, I'd yeah. pick it up all day. I mean, yeah. still, this is what? probably three ninety nine. So you you could still sell it and make probably like five or six bucks at least. Yeah. Maybe right. more. Um, but it's winter time right now, so in the spring and summer, I don't know, I just don't Which like coming into the spring. But yeah, I, don't I just don't like when it have these secondary things on, where it's like a like a bike shop or something yeah. like sponsors it. Yep. But you can always tell it's a bike jersey because it has the little uh, cutouts for the water bottles on the back. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, and these always like you might think it's super small, but they're supposed to ride. They're supposed to uh, fit really tight. So yeah, they are. Full zip, made in Italy, is always a really good indicator too. Um, very colorful, lots of different colors. It's 
still not a big yeah, yeah. deal. I'm just not yeah. gonna you, you know what you can do? I'm surprised it's with the kids' clothes, but what you can do really big, yeah. what you can do really well with, with kids' clothes is um, jerseys. Because yep. here you pick oh there you go right there. There's a Kobe Bryant. <laughs> um, Absolutely, that's a good one. I didn't even see it, but typically I think this one's a little more expensive, but yeah, five ninety nine is not bad. Yeah. But uh, right around Super Bowl time I picked up a toddler's Tom Brady jersey for a dollar here, sold for forty. Wow. Like the same day. Toddlers? Yeah. 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 That's not this is just kids. That's not that's kid, yeah, like this yeah. stuff over here. It was a small jersey. Yeah. But, uh, wow. That is, I agree with you. That's one of the things that you do real well with are those uh, those jerseys for kids. Yeah. The average resale is never gonna look through there. Right, you can get them for a dollar. Why? Why wouldn't you? Yeah, wow. yeah. So if you ever see a Tom Brady, a lot of people are Tom Brady haters, but you know it doesn't matter. <laughs> Me I mean, who, yeah, but, but, yeah, right. But you still sell it because you make money off of it. You know, so who exactly. cares? Did it, it doesn't come matter. with a deflated ball? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steve wants to know if it came with a deflated ball. <laughs> but yeah, uh, some some. Yeah, these I've come across these quite a bit, and like like I said, these are. These white stickers I mean they came from Target. Yeah. Um, and when stuff comes from Target, it's either clearance, damaged, or returned. Okay. So that's a big indicator that these probably don't sell too well. Right. Because there's multiple of them, yeah. and they came from Target. Yeah. Um, some, some, uh, in general, I have not seen go for good money at all. So I will leave it right on the shelf. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I agree. They, they, I've just not seen them do well either. Uh, they look kind of cool, they look collectible, but it's kind of a red flag when you just see this many of them and they're still sitting here. The chances that every other reseller came by and missed all that is pretty low. Exactly. And yeah. I feel like a lot of toy companies are just going overboard, like especially Star Wars. They're pumping out everything yes. with Star Wars on it. Yes. And it's making the value of the current Star Wars stuff go way down. It's I Absolutely true. You know, Star Wars is not automatic. Uh, there's some Star Wars stuff that flips real well, but because of what you just said, overproducing it and over merchandising it. They put it on everything. It's yeah, it saturated the market a lot. Yep. Yeah. So this is another thing to be careful of right here. You've got this goodwill price of $100 on the tarot cards. Uh, how did they get that price? Well, it turns out right now someone's selling it an auction for $199 has no watchers and the person previously tried to sell it and it didn't sell. So that's how the price was determined. It wasn't based on a completed sale. So you gotta be careful. Don't invest that kind of money in an item like that. Yeah, so we uh, we just found a book from Mama Profit. It's called Fear the Old Blood. It's a, uh, I believe it's a strategy guide. Um, but it's got some wrinkles inside. It almost looks like it's got water damage a little bit. Yep, that's what it is. It's moisture exposure. Yeah, but think, but look, it's just a little wrinkly. It's not like yeah. traditional water damage where it has like discoloration or anything. Right. So she's thinking about putting it back. And I'm telling her, do not put it back. It's a 47,000 rank going for $99. This book's selling like hotcakes. Just sell it as acceptable and say there's a little slight like moisture or water damage. Right. You could read it perfectly fine. This isn't like a collector's guide or something. Right. So that's what I would emphasize. And I do the same thing. When you find some of those old Dungeons and Dragons TSR yeah. books, that's they're going to be ones that have even some mold in it or are, you know, discolored yeah. um, and have those wrinkles in it. It's in good it. condition though, yeah. overall on the outside. But as you can see, like, it's just kind of like a yeah. little like wrinkly. It's, it, it's moisture warping. Yeah. But don't throw away the complete profitable book just because right. it has some issues because there's an ask for every seat. There's someone out there who's willing to, you know, you, instead of going for 99, maybe sell for 79 or exactly. 84 and just get exactly. rid of it. Give somebody a good deal, but be very specific in the description that it has some moisture, maybe a little water damage, but everything's uh, legible. You can read everything perfectly fine. It'll still sell. So. Yeah, I totally agree. I just did the same thing with my last two Dungeons and Dragons yeah. books that I put up. And, you know, let's you, give Mama Profits reaction. Yeah, all right, all right. So, Dominic, what are your thoughts on, on this? Well, um, I agree that this is something that you would list and you would just disclose the defects with it and you just sell for a little bit lower than what the current price is on it. You know, just beat, just beat what the lowest price is for someone who just wants that book for the content. There's people out there that don't want, care about the collectible value of it. They just want the content. You know, so they'll pay less for it for that reason. And if there was rips and tears and pages missing yeah. and you couldn't read it, now that's another story. Right. And you might want to look at eBay, but on Amazon, everything's perfectly legible. So it kind of right. warped a little. Who cares? It is. It is. is that what I'd have to you, put in you the You'd have to say yeah. acceptable or something. So what would yeah. you use as a description? Warped, moisture damage? Uh, I, 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 I would just say there's. I would just say there's some warping and there's some. Uh, uh, yeah, some yeah. crinkling to the pages. Acceptable you could condition. say. Yeah, I try to stay away psychologically from the word damage. Say it was primetime treasure yeah. approved. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that, that's right.
Prime time treasure hunt. Yeah. What about water was spilled on it, but it dried out. Uh, no, no, I, no, it's too it's too detailed. Sometimes my mom has yeah. a tendency to be a little too specific, and she yeah. I think hurts herself more than she benefits. Yeah, so. I'd say just be be more general, where you're still telling the truth, but if you over disclose on it, then that that could yeah, actually hurt you. Too much sometimes it will hurt you. Yeah. It, when you use acceptable yeah. or um, good or very good, that already has a condition built into it. Yeah. So like if you read the Amazon terms of service and like the guidelines, saying acceptable already is like forthcoming of like specific that there's some issues there's just some problems yeah well i do a lot of yeah. acceptable and they sell yeah, of course. yeah. go yeah. way under because some people care yeah. more about price than condition others care more about condition than price right it's what you would call a, also a reader copy you know it means you're not buying it for collectible value you're just buying it because you want to read the stuff and as long as you can read it you're all good and he's a neuropsychologist so yeah if, you know if he so, says that yeah right yeah we, we, we <laughs> i need help dude this is the stuff that drives me crazy look what that says uh, uh, and, look and look what's not in the box. No action figures. <laughs> and you can tell this was old too. Look at it. Oh my god. I'm surprised that I have a price for $40 just because it says action figures. You know what? I asked one of the cashiers one night. I was like, I don't often see like loose action figures here. Do you guys like not put them out? He's like, no, we usually just toss them. What? That's crazy. He's like, people steal them anyway, so we just get rid of them. Oh, man. Whoa, like, right. Right you got to give him your card. Say, you say, call me next time you find any of those exactly. things. Oh, this is a random package. What is this? Now, that's good. That's, uh, that's printing. Now, what's the price on that, though, Steve? What the Yeah. Heck? See, they got a crazy price. Printing ink is, is great, but uh, this price is probably... This is Target. I was yeah, just gonna say, that's it's probably much. pretty pretty uh, close to the retail value. So if you can't scan it, sometimes you can just type in the number, or you could voice it in. Zero one two five zero two five two five nine six seven. Now let's search for it, <coughs> and we found it. And now we have to find the specific whoa. Is this the DR four hundred? This thing's going for $149 oh, wow. on, on Amazon right now. Okay. Even at 60 you can make some money if this is the same one. Yeah. And you, mm, so I don't know if that one was opened and resealed. That's another thing. But here's another listing, too, for 100 Well, merch, you could probably get $150. Uh, this doesn't look resealed, but to be honest, it's $60. Bucks, yeah. So I'm not going to take it. Yeah. Price. And what does that say on the side on the yellow sticker there? Is that something? So I think this was a Target item. Okay, online. It you, was sold online. Oh. Uh, so see, that probably was a return. Probably. And That's the what box I think. is a little beat up. You got to be careful yeah. on Amazon with stuff like that. That might have been resealed. Now, in my mom's situation, it's okay that there's a little damage because it's used. But when right. you start messing with new on Amazon, yeah. it has to be on like, um, what's it called? Like shelf condition where yeah. it like looks like it yep. is coming off a storefront shelf. And yeah. this has some nicks and for 60 yeah. bucks, you're out of your mind. Yeah. So we'll but, pass on that. But you could put it like new. Yeah, but then you're falling under. I think with this, there's only a, a new option. You can't even sell this used on right, Amazon. Right, it does happen. See, that would be too risky of an investment. Whereas with that one, Mama Profits, you you're know, two bucks in. you're two bucks in. Big deal. You know, you sell it at a garage sale, make your money back. Worst case, right. you know. So you have, you know, that's totally worth getting. But fifty bucks, you know, that 60 doesn't work out. Plus six, tax. six, sixty bucks. Yeah, you're. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Steve's interested in the tarot cards now. Yeah, they're People all love there. tarot cards, and they're subs or Dali. That's why they're I know, but they want 100 but, bucks. Yeah, I would. He have looked them up on Amazon. Yeah, but on Amazon, they're going for like 540. Who the heck would pay 540 bucks for this shirt? So, hey, Steve, could you explain like the sales rank part for people? Like, if it's the sales rank of what for that? Yeah, so sales rank's pretty much like a. Um, it's like 800,000. It's pretty much like a snapshot in time, an indicator mm -hmm. of like sales velocity. Oh no, I'm all set. Um, so like the lower the number it is, the faster it sells. Okay. But each category is different. So like a sales rank in books of like a hundred thousand would be good, but in video games that would be the worst. Okay. So it's based on like the size of the category. Okay. So it's kind of like comparable to like sold listings on eBay, but the number just represents like the sales velocity essentially. Awesome. Okay. So, so that one had a sales rank of what? Eight hundred thousand. So these printers oh, wow. are probably selling like probably like couple times a month or so but the lowest price is 535 yeah. new is 403 there's just a lot of sketchy things going on with so, this so what makes you not want to purchase it? the thing that makes me not want to purchase it is there's multiple listings mm -hmm. and one of the listings uh, is at 90 dollars new but it's like some funky with no like it's 
it's not it doesn't have good of a rank and it's got like no feedback and it's got a funky title but it's just something sketchy about this yeah. i'm not 100 percent sure if all the contents are in there and for 100 right. bucks i'm just not gonna yeah. play that game so, so if your gut's telling you there's something weird Probably is. Probably stay away. And you didn't see anything on eBay, because that's a great way to find it, just to figure out. It's on eBay, it. but it, ha it didn't sell for one ninety nine on eBay. Uh, Someone has it listed now for eBay one ninety nine as yeah, an auction, and there's no uh, there's no watchers on it. So all in all, you know, even independently, as the reason I got this on here is because Brandon and I looked at it earlier. We decided no. So it's good to see that you came to the same conclusion. Yeah, exactly. I'll ask the viewers what they think. It scored a nice book. She's the only one who wound up getting something. And uh, she's crushing it. yeah, she's crushing it. I wanted those tarot cards, but yeah, just too many things. I don't know. It I wasn't mean... in your future, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> wow, uh, that's bad. All right, well, we're gonna head over to Sabres and we'll do one more for you guys, yeah, and uh, then we're gonna wrap it up. All right, let's head over there. So, I'm finally, out of Sabres, I always wanted to go to one, they don't have them by me, so here we go. Rake of Profits, Retro yeah, Junk, Mama Profits, never. They don't have them by me. This place is huge. It's pretty big. Huh? Yeah. Hey, hey, so what you got here? <laughs> Tony Robbins, man. Oh, Steve loves that. <laughs> Way overpriced. <laughs> but still. What do they want for What do they want for him? $1.99. <laughs> you ain't gonna get 10 bucks for it. Yeah. That's awesome. Wow, this is a DVDs. lot of stuff to explore. I mean, look at the size. It's pretty big. It's like this a Walmart. Is, yeah, this is kind of like the size of the Salvation Army by me. So, uh, actually, it's a little bigger, I think. So, yeah, I can see why people do well at the Savers. Do they not like people videoing here either? Uh, I would just keep it, keep, the keep it to a minimum. Look for the people with the uniforms. And put yeah. It okay. So there are a bunch of Diary of the Wimpy Kid books, which I normally tell you to pick up, but not these because they are paperback and not hardcover. You want the hardcovers and you want them in good condition. Books here are $1.79 a piece, which might not be bad depending on the book, but usually I try to keep my book purchases at a dollar uh, for the hardcovers and 50 cents for soft covers. So, uh, you know, there's a bunch of these Diary of the Wimpy Kids scattered around, but uh, you know, they're just not in great shape. And again, none of them are hard covers. So got to pass on these things. All right, we are just crushing it with uh, Mama Profits here. I mean, she is just picking them off like crazy. She is not, she's like, <laughs> she's murdering this thrift store. $75, 37,000 rank right here, okay? Oh my God. This, $40. Oh my this is God. a 1.8 million. This is a slow seller, but still. Um, but this is the big one right here. Yeah. Semiconductor device fundamentals. 142 bucka roos. That's great. Mama Profit, how do you feel about this? Uh, not too good. <laughs> not too good? Why not? No, I'm joking. Oh. I'm joking. <laughs> I was like, man, she's That's hardcore. She doesn't even get and, her going. And one thing I want to say is there's so many people out there who are like in their 50s, 60s, even 70s who are like, oh, I'm too old or I have to be young, this and that. Like, yeah. It doesn't I mean, matter if you're 20, 30, 40, yeah. 50, 60. Like, you can do this. I mean, look at this. She is just slaughtering these bookshelves right now, right? This bookshelf I mean, <laughs> is bleeding. <laughs> right, this bookshelf is just like, it has no chance. <laughs> it's awesome. Like, the Terminator came. And you don't it. have to be moving, like, super fast. You don't need, like, no. all these, like, updated softwares and, like, right. uh, Bluetooth scanners. Like, she's just going one yeah. by one with yeah. a freaking yeah. Amazon with, seller app on an yeah. iPhone 7. That's it. So, I hope that we're inspiring some people with this. And, yeah. uh... You know, encourage them to get more involved with uh, with reselling. Just stay out of this thrift store. Yeah. Because if she finds you here, yeah. oh yeah, she'll hurt yeah, you. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Yeah, <laughs> she could she could wield a book and uh, just absolutely. <laughs> this take is what you're gonna on. look like if she finds you here. Yeah. You're gonna, you're yeah, gonna yeah. be, <laughs> you're gonna be <laughs> like. Yeah. Th that's operation. actually how they came up with that uh, exactly. image right there. Is uh, one of Mama Profit ain't here to make friends. Yeah, no, she, she she's not playing games. That's for sure. <laughs> She's taking names too. Yeah. <laughs> We're heading out of here. Mama Profits made some more scores. We're out. We're going to get some smoothies. Yes, believe it or not, I will drink a smoothie. <laughs> this is the last stop off at the Fresh Monkey where I'm actually going to wrap this trip up with some natural, healthy food, a smoothie to keep me going afterwards. I'm gonna try Gotta to get my... you to Boston, man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I don't know if I'm going to make it without something to eat here or drink, so looking forward to it.
I don't even want to know what the dirty monkey is and the filthy monkey. <laughs> What's a dirty monkey and a filthy monkey? So the full menu is right here. Okay. Um, and what the dirty monkey is, is yeah. chocolate protein, Nutella chocolate brownie protein bar, and your choice of dairy. It's, right, you I, you were so it's only one. Yeah, yeah that sounds a little too healthy for me. <laughs> you want all of them? Steve Rakin is meditating right now as he's texting his Gotta girlfriend. Gotta respond to the girlfriend. I'll end up in a doghouse. After he had his chunky monkey um, <laughs> smoothie there. Now, I had this um, berry one, which is pretty good. It did have spinach in it, believe it or not. So I did have something with some green in it. But uh, it's pretty good, you know? Kind of uh, the berries disguised the spinach yeah. taste. What's I in that? What's this, in that thing? Man. Before I tell you what's in it, I am known to suck down smoothies so fast. I swear to God. Yeah, you look like, at the, look, look, you like he, wolf that down. He's like, twice look at the your, size yeah, of me. Look at that. When I go to the gym, I can suck one of these down in like two minutes flat. Like literally, I've been, I've been, I've been taking my time with this. I could have been done with this minutes ago. I'm not even, watch this. <laughs> See, this is something right here you never knew about Rake and Profits. No matter how many videos you watched, you never knew that this guy could chug down a smoothie. Sucking down a smoothie Profits. He almost spit it out of his mouth. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> There's going to be Chunky Monkey smoothie like coming out of his on. nose in I'm like two seconds. Right now. <laughs> oh, man. All right, everyone. Well... I mean, that's the end uh, for now of the first ever, I, what should we call this? This like joint venture, Profits in Prime Time or something? Profits in Prime Time <laughs> meetup number one. Yeah, there'll probably be many more over the years. So, uh, you know, this is a great time. We really had a blast together. Uh, wrapping up with the smoothie yeah. and uh, it was a fun time. I hope you guys got a kick out of it. And by the way, you know, Steve's been nice all day telling people to come follow me. And most of you probably follow Steve, but if you're brand new into reselling, go follow this man. You will learn a ton. I was watching him before I was even doing anything on YouTube. So rake and profits, rake and profits.com. All right. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, everyone. All right. Appreciate it. All right. See ya.